there is a great resistance when it comes to impacting a golf ball. One of the reasons the impact snap trains the wrist so well to create that lowercase letter Y because that's the geometry we're going to need to brace for the collision we have with the ground. That geometry allows the shaft to load and remember when we get this club working 60, 80, 100 miles an hour, not only is the club hitting the ball at that speed, but the world of physics would tell us that the ball is hitting the club at that speed. And we need to brace for that collision and be in a leveraged position. Imagine this were a broom and I was sweeping the kitchen floor. I will see some stress on the shaft and I'd really want you to use your pelvis, spine and ribs to lift that away from the floor, maintaining that uniform radius. We would never see someone sweeping a floor like this because then the dust and dirt would fly all over the place. I want you to create a scenario where we have some stress in the shaft that allows the shaft to spring forward using the pelvis spine rib cage lifted away from the ground without breaking your radius. We would learn that, take a nine iron, couple simple drills, in this case I've got a six iron, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. A little waist high, hit hold. Waist high, hit hold. Chest high, hit hold. And again, at impact, I'm creating that lowercase letter Y so that I can make contact with the ground, ideally after the ball. So a drill, start at 15 or 20 miles an hour, see if we can hold these angles. You'll know you're progressing as you can increase the speed and still maintain the wrist angles and the radius. Higher speeds would look like this. So upon completion of the hit, I'm checking for my radius, I'm checking for my lowercase y, my geometry, and I'm assuring myself that I just impacted the ball with a nice, stable, uniform position. Lowercase letter y allows that shaft to stabilize when it hits the ball, then the ground. Be on the lookout for that when you record your own videos and when you're hitting at the range, hit some at a slower speed so you can check where your positioning is when you're done. I think that's gonna be a real simple way for you to start self-monitoring your own improvement.